Welcome to a very windswept Snipecast episode 7 and one of those days when you just wonder what am I doing out here and you say that to yourself every hundred yards um, while well, Taisal is waiting on OK. My Taisal decided he would go for a bath. It was far better conditions for bathing rather than flying. Uh, lovely point on this little ridge Snipe flushed premature, well, snoop flushed by itself, and the wild tassel chased it off into the river valley. Camera work wasn't at his best today, I kind of missed out on most things. Um, chased into that valley, and it probably put in, so he carried on. Um, this is where the tassel was having a bath, and that little flock of sheep basically and it almost ran over him and had the effect of flushing him at least. So he took to the skies to dry off. And then we moved along onto the next bit of bog. Got quite a nice point. It was so windy though, it was very difficult to get any kind of decent flight. Although this snipe, the wild tassel, does end up catching though. I don't think I got it on the video it was so far away. He did catch it and disappeared off up into the hills with it. avoided Jake first and a few near misses. It was a real long extended chase and Tiersel, Wild Tiersel eventually caught it in a bind a fair distance away. They were both chasing it hammer and tongs. Um, I could just just and so make out with the naked eye in, in making off and to the top of that hill. Um, I think he stashed it because he came back about 15 minutes later and started waiting on him again. It was probably too quick for him to eat it in that time period but he he did come back. Not particularly close at a shot, whether Tiersel was trying to intimidate it into the ground so he could catch it on the floor. This was very close. The wild Tiersel just missed it on that occasion. That's Jake again. Again, not really that close. And eventually wild Tiersel bound to it. Uh, I don't think it, I think not on that occasion, but on the next pass he did and took it off. My Tiersel came back and we had another nice little point and he refused this one, he didn't like the look of it, he went straight into the wind and for some reason he gave it best. So that was it. He ran on a bit and the wild Tiersel came, waited on again and we worked along, back along the bog. Couldn't find, couldn't find another snipe. So called him down. So at least we got our steps in, got some exercise, but that's probably all you could say for the day really. So we had to wait a few days for the winds to drop and then we got a, a lovely day um, on the 8th of October. Beautiful westerly breezes and bright wild tears will turn up quite quickly which is again I'd prefer if it hadn't. Um, again I don't really want my tears hawking in a cast because it makes him lazy basically. He's looking for the easy kill and he gets the easy kills that he wouldn't get if he was by himself. But anyway we've got a point fairly quickly. I didn't actually get it on film but um, I hadn't let my hawk off so I thought this would be a good opportunity just to get the wild tassel a kill. Um, it was a lovely flight but he missed it um, and, the f and he broke off and he we moved on and then we got a lovely little point on this bare plateau. Perfect place really was, as perfect as, as it gets here anyway. So we flew this and I was resigned to flying in a cast again. Odin the wild teasel was a huge pitch on this flight, he literally was up in the clouds, well over a thousand feet, and as you'll see or here, he stooped right past me, literally it must have been about 10 or 15 feet, he came whizzing right past me, and you'll hear the noise as he came through, uh, and again, just typical of what I'm talking about, he, he did all the work and put the snipe into a reed bed, be nice to get more points in country like this. It could almost be a little covey of ptarmigan in amongst all these rocks, or a woodcock even, although it's a bit early. Um, still waiting to put a woodcock up underneath the wild tassel, but it'll happen eventually. Uh, still a nice flight, but again, a snipe that should have got away didn't. Again, listen for the stoop here. It gave me almost quite a close haircut. The 
snipe down into a reed bed. I did actually go down because it hadn't been touched and I wasn't actually sure I'd find another snipe because the numbers still are quite poor. I went down and reflushed it. I'm not sure whether that was a genuine effort to catch the snipe by my tears alert. hear it on the camera there but he bounced to that with a real smack I quite usually wouldn't be surprised if the snipe wasn't killed by the impact he really does bind to them but as soon as the snipe skied up I knew it was in trouble because he loves this up and under coming up in the blind spot So we moved on after Jake had a bit of a sulk like he usually does if the wild tissel catches a snipe in front of him with another little one of his foibles as he sulks but eventually found a snipe and he came back over then started stooping at the point so it took me about five or six attempts to eventually get this snipe up because he kept stooping and ruining all his pitch but unfortunately it was a jack snipe which dumped into the reeds uh, and I called the tissel down at this point and I did go and the dog pointed the snipe so I went and made sure that she didn't catch it and uh, picked it up and checked it over. I'll show you it in a minute. There's no disappointed with how the tassel's flying at the moment. He's pulling every scam trick in the book to try and get an easy kill. And this is another point on the jack snipe just to show how close they sit and also the cryptic camouflage and that's it there and the gold stripes on its back just look like the surrounding grasses. It's amazing really how the camouflage blends in. Yeah, just to anyone who wasn't aware, the uh, jack snipe are protected in the UK. So uh, the one I recovered, I just took him out, checked him over and let him go back to his swampy lair, ready for him to ruin another flight on another day. But uh, anyway, interesting couple of days.